Hello everyone. In the last video, we discussed about what is GSOC. I introduced you to the world of open source and Google Summer of Code. In this video, we are going to discuss about which programming language should you use to contribute to GSOC or open source. So this is a frequently asked question, which is why I have decided uh, to discuss about it. So if I have to say one word as to which uh, language you should use, my one word would be it doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't matter at all which programming language you use. What matters is that you pick a language which you are comfortable with. So any language which you think that you know very well, which you think you can code in easily, you stick to that. Why? Because as part of contributing to open source organization, you might have to learn a variety of other things. You'll have to learn a concurrent versioning system like GitHub. You might have to learn some unit testing framework. You'll have to learn how to document. There are lots of other concepts that you will have to learn because you're still a college student. You don't know that much as well. So language would be one less thing that you'll have to think about but then at the same time I feel that if you think you want to try something else or you are a complete newbie to computer science I would suggest you pick Python Python is a simple language to start with it's a multi paradigm language where you can get a taste of different paradigms uh, which is really important so Python would be my suggestion and other than that, uh, if you don't want to go with uh, something as Python, uh, which is a scripting language, you want to uh, get yourself involved in a proper, you know, performance oriented language, then maybe I would suggest any object oriented programming language. Uh, so currently the major uh, object oriented programming languages are C++. Java, C Sharp, and Go. So, out of these, I would suggest Java because Java has a lot of demand in the market. Uh, so, if you start off using Java as your programming language and you continue to improve your Java skills, eventually, when you pass out, uh, at least your Java understanding would be awesome and uh, it would be a great tool to have. Uh, by your side a tool and a skill as well but other than that if you have any preferences it really doesn't matter their programming language never matters so I hope I have answered your question as to which programming language uh, you should uh, pick and I hope uh, that at the end of this video you do decide a programming language because in the next video we're going to discuss about a particular project which uh, you will select to contribute to and uh, I'm going to help you search for a project based on the programming language you decide so consider this as an assignment uh, if you do decide at the end of this video uh, do not forget to put in the comments what language you decided and why uh, it would be a fun thing for all the uh, YouTube community members to have a look at what are the reasons why people choose a particular language. So stay tuned. See you in the next video.